Greetings everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see the principle of least action. This principle is used to obtain the equation of motion when it is applied to an action of a mechanical system. And a very important note, the second point. The system always try to consume least amount of energy in a given amount of time. It becomes very easy to understand on looking the examples of this principle. The trajectory of the ball is in curved shape. We should concentrate in two things why the trajectory of the ball takes curved path and why not it differs. Let us see a relevant example which proves our two questions. Assume that we are kicking or throwing a ball. Q1 is a place or a coordinate from where we thrown a ball at instant T1. Then the ball reaches to the coordinate Q2 at the time instant T2. The actual trajectory of the ball is mentioned in blue color. The zigzag path yellow is an imaginary path of the ball. Just assume instead of taking actual path, if the ball takes the imaginary path, what does happens? Don't worry, it is impossible for a ball to take such kind of trajectories. Let us see what is the reason behind it. From this principle, we know that the system always tries to take a least path because it always tries to consume least amount of energy for a given amount of time. Therefore, the path followed by the ball is always least by means of the action. Thus, this principle is known as least action principle. From the very first slide itself, I have mentioned that we are going to obtain an equation of motion for the mechanical system. We can able to derive the equation of motion from Lagrangian and Hamiltonian as well. But here I have given the Lagrangian alone. S is the starting point of the physical system, which means the ball where the projectile is started. The change in position of the ball is represented in terms of coordinates. The trajectory of the ball starts at T1 and ends at T2. Therefore, we have to calculate the equation of motion for the time interval between T1 and T2. Here we have given the general statement of equation by using Lagrangian. The Kronecker delta in the final equation represents the small change. Therefore, we can say action and Lagrangian contains dynamics of system. Thanks for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe for more updates.